Welcome to this case study and walkthrough of one of my automation clients, and it's a perfect example of solving a problem so critical that the entire business relies on it so heavily. This automation solves such a critical pain point that there's absolutely nowhere that this business can go and cannot afford to stop using this system. And those are the kind of systems that you should be trying to build. So this client is actually a tire shop and they came to me because they had a massive problem. It's actually a good problem. It was that they had far too many leads. They're getting leads from every which direction, especially during the busy season here in Toronto where people need to get their winter tires. They were getting a crazy volume of phone calls every single day. They were getting leads from their different social media channels and they just couldn't keep everything in place. Leads were falling through the cracks. They were missing leads here. They weren't following up with people correctly. They had no system to actually follow up and they were leaving a lot of money on the table. But I knew that I could build a system to help capture that money and make a lot for myself in the process. So the one main automation that I sold them, and if you're familiar with Hexona systems or go high level, then you know that it's integrated directly into the platform, but it was just a very simple missed call text back automation. One singular automation runs the backbone of their entire organization. And you can see here on December 16th, for example, I just picked a random date, but you can see that every couple of minutes, these guys are getting phone calls coming in. And if they're missing these phone calls, then that's going to cause a massive problem because the business owner not only runs the business, but he also works in the shop as well. So there's no one there manning the phones full time. So they needed some sort of automation to help manage this. And now just going here to reporting into the call report, I'm going to show you exactly how significant of a problem this is and how I was able to solve it. But real quick, if you don't know who I am, my name is Hamza Beg. I run an award-winning seven-figure AI automation agency. I also run one of the biggest AI automation school communities with over 18,000 members, teaching people exactly how they can start making money with their own automation agencies and leveraging and monetizing AI. So you can check that out later in the description of this video. But just looking at the call report here, we can actually see the volume of calls that they get. So in the last week alone, and this is the holiday period, so it's actually Christmas day today, you can see that they got 267 calls in this week alone, which is pretty crazy, right? But I wanna show you is that for the month of December, December's not even finished yet. If I click confirm, you can see here that they had over 2000 calls in December, which is ridiculous. And in terms of how many callers were first time callers, which means brand new leads that they could potentially close and sell to, that's 910 people. And out of those 910, they missed 270 phone calls. In total, they missed over 600 phone calls, 628 phone calls. That's a very significant amount, meaning that they're leaving money on the table, especially with these first time callers, because 270 people is 270 opportunities to generate revenue or close deals or get new clients, right? And if you're missing those, and if you don't follow up with them promptly, then you've lost them forever. And now I'm going to show you exactly what the impact of this automation is. So if you aren't familiar with my school community, inside my school community, I have something called a missed call text back ROI calculator, which is something I've built, but specifically for this automation, you can actually show the impact when you're, pro when you're pitching to leads and prospects of the impact that this automation is going to make. So this is what the ROI calculator looks like. It takes in three different parameters, which is the average client value, the missed calls per month, and then the average close rate. So we're going to fill this in and I'm going to show you what the impact of my automation actually is. So for the average client value and the average close rate, I didn't have this on hand for my client. So I'm just going to consult ChatGPT to get the industry averages to make things a bit easier for us. So the average close rate for a tire shop is between 20 and 40%. So we can just you know average that at 30%. And then the average deal size typically is between $200 and $800. So I can average that at around 500. So taking that information, plugging it back into our calculator, if we put 500 here, the average close rate of 30%, missed calls per month. I could do the total missed calls, which is around 650, I believe that we saw, and the month's not even over. But just to make this even less crazy for you, I'm just going to pick the number of first time callers because, you know, people might be calling back, existing customers might be following up on their orders. So I don't want to do the total missed calls. I'm only going to do the first time caller missed calls. So if I do calculate my ROI, you can see here that the money left on the table by my client, if they did not have this automation and they were missing all of these calls, is around $40,000, $40,400. And suppose we charge them $100 a month. I don't, I obviously charge them multiples of that. I charge them a lot more. Um, suppose that we only charge them $99 a month, which you could totally do if you're starting out, right? That's a 4,800% ROI. That is absolutely insane. That's like, you know, in the stock, if you invested $100 and you got $40,000 back every single month, that's a complete no brainer. That's like something that's unheard of. 
But if you go to a business and you take numbers with them, then numbers can start selling on your behalf. Revenue generating automations like this can have numbers to back them up and help you close the deal. This is an absolute no brainer for any business. If I can prove after a few months that I'm generating them $40,000 every single month, then it should be no problem for me to ask for $1,000, $2,000, $3,000 a month as a retainer to have this automation running because the ROI is still solid. They're getting significantly more money back than they're putting in. And that's the kind of mentality that I want you to take towards your sales meeting. And you can absolutely use this ROI calculator to help you close those deals. I just want to show you that automations like this can have a serious and real impact. And the best part is that this is not that uncommon. Businesses that are doing well, like those businesses who are on the top page of Google, they're getting a lot of inbound business. They're getting a lot of phone calls. They're getting a lot of messages on their social media. They could benefit from the all-in-one inbox. They could benefit from the missed call text back. And I can show you that this is not bullshit. Like I can refresh. These numbers are significant, but not uncommon. So if you target businesses that have an overabundance of leads and they cannot organize everything and they need AI and automation to help them manage it, then they're going to pay you a lot of money because money left on the table is still revenue being generated by you and by your systems. So definitely take advantage of the resources that I have. You can see my automation community at school.com slash automate. This is what it looks like. Uh, it has all the resources you need to get started with automations. We just passed 18,000 members. And if you seriously want to start building automations and get wins like the ones that we have, we have dozens of pages of people just like yourself who are winning, closing two clients in one week, you know, um, getting their first ever clients and, you know, in under 24 hours. So automations are super hot. They're in demand right now. But the only thing holding you back is probably yourself. If you think that this is too technical, a lot of these people here have never written a line of code. I've never written a line of code. This is all drag and drop builders. It's very basic software. So I highly recommend joining the community, checking out the course, following the instructions. And then you can start making an impact on the business as significant as this and making a lot of money for yourself in the process. So if you have any questions, join the school community. You can message me directly at school.com slash automate. The link will be in the description. And I look forward to seeing you start your automation journey. Take care.